straight ahead. It's so wonderful to have a chance to talk about Abby Lincoln. I moved to New York from Bard College in 1960, and within two or three weeks had spent a lot of the money my family had allotted me to survival money going to clubs and he asked me my potential as a waiter and I said uh, that I had a fairly good memory for drinks. Well, it turned out my first night there I put ice in the Baroness Nika Konig's water's drink, which was a real no-no. About two weeks into my time there, Max Roach and Abby brought the whole cast of uh, Straight Ahead and Freedom Now Suite. Um, I did say almost the whole cast. They didn't get Olin Tunji or Coleman Hawkins there. But I got to know this repertoire of Abby Lincoln from uh, Straight Ahead and the Freedom Now Suite so well. Every night, six nights a week, I would hear the same music. They would occasionally alternate sets and do the angry music at the beginning from the suite. Other times that would be the closer. Uh, I didn't realize Drive a Man was 5-4. There were theoretical, rhythmical things I didn't understand, but the music got immersed into whatever soul I had at the time. And uh, one would have a worn out an LP or even a CD. When I count the number of hours hearing this music, I owned both. I owned Freedom Now Sweet. I imagine that I owned Straight Ahead, but it technically uh, didn't come out to uh, 1961. It was such a joy to see Max, Mal Waldron, Julian Priester, Booker Little, uh, on a nightly visit. And this music is uh, in my memory for life.